morning guys and welcome to part 3 of Clash Heads vs the Black Lodge recap uh, part 3 will be consisting of Town Hall 10 attacks by the Black Lodge and Town Hall 9 attacks by the Black Lodge I won't separate them in two videos but yeah I'll just record everything in this one so yeah we got Vega in here splitting his heroes King to take out AD on one side, his queen to take out the other side, AD and the enemy queen. He took a bunch of base with his kill squad. You can see already 40%. And now he's sending his air squad. Nice freeze spell. Taking care out of everything in the his second freeze was nice as well a bit premature but it's all good so yeah that was Vega on our number one Remy zombie uh, you could see that Remy's uh, air sweepers were awful but that just happens, some things always go wrong when you gotta make 40 bases in 20 hour span of time. Yeah, you know, it, it was it was a bit hectic. Uh, Black Lodge made some mistakes on Town Hall 9 bases, as so did we. Uh, we had same bases on King Richard and Frankenstein, I will show you that, it was basically the same attack on both of them. They had two same bases on as well, on Town Hall 10s. We had same few same bases on Town Hall 9s. Uh, different defense levels though, so on the lower base which was taken by Town Hall 9, that didn't work on a maxed Town Hall 9 base, so they had to dip. They had uh, 10 Town Hall 10 dips on Town Hall 9s. I won't be showing those attacks because there are just too many attacks to be shown, and I will be just showing you Town Hall 10 attacks and Town Hall 9 on Town Hall 9's attacks. Anyways, this was attacked by Requiem Excellence. Uh, pretty sweet attack. She just wrecked me down. Good job, Requiem. Uh, what the, we we got Master KD on Mohammed, uh, Foxy Hogs with some touch of giants. So he, you can see the entry point in here. He will send his queen walking in one direction. His hogs from another direction, and his CC, his kill squad original kill squad will be sent towards the middle or no just wait a second never mind he did send his queen towards the middle yeah my bad this isn't Fuxi It was still a sweet hugging attack. <coughs> and you will see our number 4 base. They failed uh, 4 or 5 times on that one. Base was really really tough and you can see the last uh, attack that did 3 star it was uh, really really close. Anyways it was a good design and props to that one. <coughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, we did fail like four or five times as well on the number three, I think. But yeah, you can see this. This was a really, really close attack by Master Katie.
So we got yeah this these are Fuxi hogs so he sent his queen in one direction his hogs from another direction and his kill, kill squad towards the middle. You can see the lava hound attacking his king and didn't make much on this base. Sweet attack by Master Katie. But you can see the leftover troops in here. Yeah, he did have left heroes, but zero hogs left and things like that. So it was it was really close. <coughs> and you know, these last moments you are just cheering to see the enemy failing and I don't know, it gets pretty fun. Watching endings of these wars. Like you're just hoping, come on, just give me one more fail. And you're praying that your guys don't fail. And when they do it, just... I don't know. It's really, it's really awesome watching ending of these wars. I imagine it's awesome for you guys that aren't even participating. But imagine us, which are just spending whole day on this war and then yeah I don't know good management wins these wars not obviously we have to have top-notch attackers and everything like that but without good management you aren't getting anywhere and Check out this attack, I'll just scroll down to Frankie's attack, uh, to attack on Frankenstein and you'll see the same base and the same attack. That was just our mistake on, on base designs, but yeah, it happens, it happens guys. <coughs> it's just we had 20 hour to find uncracked bases, get some new designs maybe, but it's just hectic in here managing that in a 24 hour span. And obviously we weren't prepared for this war, but neither, they, neither were they, because you know it was a random war. But pay attention, it's, it's the same design and same attack. Props to them for finding, for noticing this. You can see pretty much the same attack. He'll now freeze the Inferno Tower, send his king. <coughs> yeah. Well done, Conan. <coughs> Anyways, let's get back to the Shears Hero. Yeah, these are some noob walls in the middle but yeah I think this one was an overkill regardless here sending his king to the corner smart wall breakers just to take out this city splitting his hero sending his queen to take out the enemy queen and bunch of things around there
Yeah, you can see he took out three ADs in here, and there's just one AD left, and yeah, just awesome, awesome attack or powered this base for sure. Good job, IT Smith. <clears throat> Anyways, what I was saying, yeah, that really management wins these kind of wars because it really does get hectic towards the end. Someone else, I'll be showing you this base as well because you know they failed a few times on that and that cost them off win. Let's see what went wrong in here. And making his funnel on the other side for his king, I think. <coughs> Sending his queen in one corner. Let's just sl slow things down a bit. It may have been a Tesla glitch, or never mind, it wasn't. But yeah, I'm guessing his king didn't take out enough of the base in here I'm guessing he just wanted these arch towers to go down or something else or his queen did start bashing this wall I don't know what was there but yeah you can see his troops didn't make it And yeah, sweet, 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 fail. Nice job, pro. Uh, we got Hamada in here defending against Crazy Unicorn. Let's see what type of the attack this was. <coughs> Sorry. We got splitting his heroes, sending kill squad towards the core, making his queen go around, sending his hogs clockwise, his queen went anti-clockwise, and yeah. And you can see this was this was an awesome giant bomb next to the wizard tower. So if you put a giant bomb with two small bombs next to a wizard tower, chances are high that enemy hogs will get destroyed there. So from that pack, only one hog survived. But he still did have enough hogs left to take out the base. And we got Zack defending. No, this was the Town Hall 9. I'm not sure did they even crack Zack. So yeah. Uh, anyway, this is Lexer Don Lucky. Let's check out how this attack went. So he did send few giants in here to take out the initial beating. Then his queen will take over, he will rage her probably. He'll face her first, then he will rage her. Uh, his king took look out, H hold this compartment, and that was just awesome. And now there's three ADs clumped on one side, Inferno Tower. Will the queen take? Yeah, she will. Oh my god, this was this was just awesome. Check out how much she got. <coughs> this this was awesome, awesome attack. We 
very nice. Lex. And Graham, Graham. This this base wasn't meant to be in this war. I didn't build a base on this account. Yeah, I, I fucked up. Too much things to worry about. Graham didn't have any service on prep day, and yeah, this was just a base for farm wars. Oh well, but these things do happen, so... I don't know, nothing to add here. <coughs> Sweet attack, anyways, by T. Smith. But this is basically... Uh, Farm Wars base. But regardless, no excuses to be made there. And nice attack by T Smith. Uh, we got Clashes defending against Le Hui. I think this guy has a main in Art of War or Ruin Champs. I, I'm not sure which one. But yeah, as you can see, he has a mini in the Black Lodge. We got Fuxi in here. With some similar attacks. So this one, where he sends his queen to take out one pocket compartment. Yeah, very, very nice by the Hui. Good job. Let's check out defense by Hisham. These are just Town Hall 9 defenses with level 3 Inferno Towers. <clears throat> and he's on number 14. Yeah, so our upper bases were a bit tough, tougher, heavier. They did have a 40 40 advantage and more town hall tens, but doesn't matter. This war was awesome, it was. I don't know. <coughs> The Black Lodge was really a s real sport this time, and there wasn't any ranting on both on any side. It was a clean, nice war, fun. What's most important, and yeah. Requiem killing this base. Very nice. I don't know why. Black Sword. You can see level 11 canyons in here. Everything else besides cannons and mortars is maxed. 97k base. K base. We got sending his queen on a walk in here. Sending his king to take out the other pocket. I'm guessing he will open this compartment, corner compartment, and his. Or never mind, never mind, he opened another one. His queen will go back and take out this AD 
possibly Inferno Tower or something. Yeah, he will rage the wall breaker. Awesome, awesome job. Frozen the Inferno Tower. Check out, check out his skill squad. 50% of base with his skill squad. Just awesome. And his flight was like 40 seconds. He had a bunch of minions to clean up in here. Only one Inferno Tower left. This, this was just way too sexy to defend. <coughs> Sorry, cough is killing me today. I got Mufasa in here. This is... This guy went down hole 10 in Hebrew Legends War. So yeah. It's understandable why his base is like this. He does have a level 3 Inferno Towers, but everything else is Town Hall 9 level. Does he even have 3 x -wells? I'm not sure, sorry I didn't pay attention. You can see a baby bomb in here. Level 1 or level 2. But yeah, Mitch is working on getting his heroes to 40-40 and he's really close. His king is 35 now and his queen is like 40. So yeah, this was Legolas. Uh, Broy Cream. Yeah, this is a town hall now with baby in front of towers. It needed a 40 40 to clean it up, so yeah, it was worth it definitely adding these in front of towers. Yeah, basically a pantalaloon. Just stomping the base. <clears throat> nothing, nothing this base could have done to defend. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> yeah, that was Gobbler Twin. This was a dip. Dip. This wasn't a dip. Okay, let's check this one. This was the first hit as well. <laughs> let's check how over Overlord came okay, opening this compartment. Yeah, some kind of max attack variation. And you saw this Tesla. She didn't activate on on golems. These are Teslas that are 3000 and they are really awesome against defending defending against the max attack. They do take out the wall breakers. <coughs> so you can see if he didn't bring an extra wall breaker, this would be a fail. Definitely. This is our little trick in base designs. Or never, never mind. This this is an old, old, old base. No one changed the base on Maya as well. Sorry, but you will see, you will see few bases. But I think Town Hall Nine took care of those. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. I'll make a separate video on on how to defend against a max attack and and you can see he brought four wall breakers. This is a dip as well. Okay, this wasn't a dip. This is a weird, weird base. 
by Filthy Hillbilly. I'm not a fan of two sweepers clumped up in a row, well, same compartment because <coughs> check this out, he's gonna send his kill squad in here and they'll take care of both sweepers I think, yeah. Just overpowering the base. Eight back and loons left. He saved two for cleanup. Sweet attack by Cha. Uh, this is a dip. Okay, let's see Maximus on Scotty. <coughs> Old school hugging. You can see he's splitting his main pack into two parts because the first pack did get wrecked by these double jump bonds in there. But still, four heal spells for his hogs were enough to take out that much beating from the quad test line core. I really do like quad fast line core on some bases, but yeah. This is Fu, let's see what Fu brought. Yeah, some kind of dragon attack. <laughs> Where are the ADs on this base? Non existent. Very, very nice attack by Fu. Damn, he barely got it, barely. This level 5 dragon was MVP for sure. Uh, let's see how Hashir got wrecked. More and more people are implementing earthquakes in the initial kill squad. You can see it just opens up way too much of base. One, two, three, four, five. He he with four earthquake spell he got access to four compartments, which is just beyond huge. Yeah, and instead of the initial rage, he brought two haste spells for his air squad. First one was a bit useless. Yeah, and the second one was probably for these two wizard towers. Yeah. Nice attack by Skari. 
Uh, what else we have here? We got Alberto Dario on Walter White. I don't know what kind of design. <laughs> Check out four four uh, ADs in one compartment. <laughs> Yeah, basically, you have to send your kill squad there. You just have to, and it's a hard, hard, hard Lalum base because the queen is completely on different compartment, completely on different side of the base. But yeah, here we got some back end loons. Very nice attack by Alberto Dario. <coughs> very, very, very nice. Uh, this is a deep. So yeah, those dips are probably on anti-max attack basis, and I will be making a guide for that design because it's easy. Then just showing you town hall ten dropping down. He splitted his heroes. This is basically like town hall ten attacks. Very nice attack by Chao. <laughs> we got Apocrates in here. <laughs> These are just some funky base designs. So it's basically Twan <coughs> versus some people. Because Twan is our master base designer. <coughs> Sorry, but this cough is just killing me. Yes, and I did lit a cigar and... No, I won't stop smoking. <laughs> because that's basically what you ask in every single video. <laughs> we got Garrett in here, but that was a dip. Let's check out Fergal. Yeah, this I I doubt this was a Twans design. Yeah, I don't know why he raged his queen in here. His queen did his king decided to take a walk. <coughs> but eventually he decided to go back, but then he decided to bash another wall, but then he decided to go back again, but then he decided to <laughs> walk around. <laughs> Some insane king behavior. And a disrespect heal on the core. Good job, Fergal. <coughs> you got hard size, but that was a town hall 10 dip as well. 
let's see Kevin Spartan on Nico. Deciding to lure and use two archers and the healer to keep the Lava Hound CC occupied. Then sending his kill squad from another side from bottom to take care of the enemy queen and bunch of these defenses in here then sending his hawks kinda surgical way <laughs> poison spell to take care of these annoying ground skellies and nothing can defend in here you can see this is a huge pack of hogs and yeah uh, nicely done by Kevin as is turned And well, as you can see, this wall, for example, was a, uh, let's say, 18 Town Hall 10s with 22 Town Hall 9s. And when you take out 18 attacks from Town Hall 9s to just scout for Town Hall 10s, you are left with 26 attacks for 22 Town Hall 9 bases. And it it's really really hard to defend I don't know to not allow any town hall 10 dips because you would need basically a perfect hit rate I mean and on fresh bases that's just even though yes they are town hall 9 yes they're, they're that's nothing that hard but still you will need to get some town hall 10 dips <laughs> so yeah they use 10 we use 6 anyways uh, maxing 0 that was a dip as well let's check out Mahesh you would, you would basically need an insane hit rate from your town hall nines it is boss. It is technically possible, but still. You only have a gap for four fails on your town hall nine attacks. And you can see this strategy where you send two dragons to take care of the enemy queen. That's when she is uh, on some outer compartment when she is easy accessible. That's nice trick over there by Black Lodge guys anyways Town Hall 9 designs did their job for us for them as well we had 6 zips they had 10 dips So basically it's better just to, when you start the war, you do the scouting, you should immediately send 5 of your bottom town hall, 10 attackers to just clear town hall lines, because you will need those zips, that's just not a discussion, unless, I don't know, you have enemy bases, which again wouldn't be fair and... But yeah. <clears throat> Let's see what Enrique had to offer in here. Some kind of surgical hogging, he did split his main pack on two sides. Sweet attack by Enrique. Tch. 
very very nice anyways for next episode there will be a base design episode for town hall ten, for town hall nice and how to defend against the max attack <coughs> sorry you can see splitting his heroes using four golems in there on two sides and taking out queen in upper compartment then sending the rest of his hogs on front two different corners to juke the giant bombs or whatnot very nice attack by JG uh, I may be wrong but this is Jigglebutt from Art of War his Town Hall 9 mini I know that Jigglebutt has some kind of mini in the Black Lodge. I'm not sure is he a Town Hall 9 in there or a Town Hall 10. Some of the Black Lodge boys have to answer that one for me. Nice trigger on double jump bombs in here with only two hawks. Splitting his heroes. <coughs> yeah, I'm guessing this is the guy that has a max town hall 10. I could be wrong, but I'll let the Black Lodge guys answer that one for me. So, yeah, long story short, that's about this recap hope you enjoyed it guys hope you like these attacks hope you like some of these base designs and i'll see you in my next episode on how to defend against the max attack once again 120 117 clash heads taking this one home clash heads to the black lodge zero let's see who wins in third when it comes Anyways, I'm really glad that we have these fun wars and these these wars are what makes the game interesting. Nothing you can learn from these awful fun wars when you are facing cup bases. You just you don't even have desire to 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 I don't know. You don't even have a desire to play to 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 attack those bases because they're just too awful you can see defense one this is fresh 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 dips three defenses on I'm revolution that's an three defense on Assist turn three defense on curry you can see fantastic four skins with bunch of defenses in there Yeah, this is just... I don't know. So yeah, see you in my next episode. Hope you liked it and peace out guys. Peace out.